On behalf of uh, the Federation of the Southern Baptist Conventions in the Philippines, that composes about uh, 2,000 churches at least. We have no hard data yet, but that's how I was given feedback. But greetings from the Federation of Southern Baptist Conventions in the Philippines. The presidents are here present with us. Uh, Brother Reno Dimson from the Convention of uh, Sias Mindanao. Uh, Brother Eli Salinas, Central, Philippi Central Philippines Convention. And of course, our Luzon Convention President, uh, Brother Eric Ortiga, where are you? Okay, you're huh? not, not coffee time yet. But uh, he, is, he is the multi-hatted uh, guy. And he represents the convention. He calls himself CEO and President. I don't know what that means. But greetings. The discussion on how missions should be done and supported are recurrent, in fact, perennial. While there are those who think that missions is to be a responsibility of the church only, and thus mission agencies are usurping the work and direction of the local church, there are those also who, who think that since there is no biblical prohibition for the creation of missions agencies, Mission sending bodies have a practical role to play and it should be not detested. Others therefore argue that whether missionaries are sent and supported by the local church, a denominational mission board, or a formal parish church organization, certain principles do apply. First, there must be an accountability from those in the field to ensure that those funds are being used wisely. Second, missionary work must be supported generously by these institutions. I am glad that the one sending body and the federation, uh, you know the logos there, the federation here and the one sending body, has bonded for a noble purpose. Those who envisioned and nurtured the bond must have been God-led. And I think we must recognize that Brother Lino Karnongan and the President of the USB, Brother Jimmy Fondar, uh, has been instrumental in this. The basic rationale for the structural bonding of these two bodies is simple. It is not less, it is nothing less than to unite, to ma help master support for missions together, and the bonding was based on no less than the desire to work together for missions and support said ministry generously. That monumental bonding was inked last 6th of October 2015 at Mount Carmel, Bansalan, Davao del Sur by both bodies. But supporting it generously is not all. Our support must be done with a sense of urgency whether you uphold the idea that missions is to be done by the church alone or missions should be done through mission agencies, missions is to be seen with a sense of urgency. I was reading through some of my files and I read this. When commerce has been established with, Fu, with the Fiji Islanders, K.P. Yohanan wrote in his Revolution in World Missions, a merchant who was an atheist and skeptic landed on the, island of, on the island of Fiji to do business. He was walking to the Fiji chief and noticed a Bible and some paraphernalia of religion around the house. What a shame, he said, that you have listened to the foolish nonsense of these missionaries. The chief replied, do you see the large white stone over there? That is a stone where just a few years ago, we used to smash the heads of our victims to get to their brains. Do you see the large oven over there? That is the oven where just a few years ago, we used to bake the bodies of our victims before we feasted on them. Had we not listened to what you call the missionaries' nonsense, I assure you that you were, your head would have already been smashed on that rock and your body would already have been in that oven. 
The theme of this Congress, Hand in Hand for Global Missions through the Church, is precisely chosen. I pray that the urgency should be that before heads are smashed and more bodies are baked, so to speak, the Southern Baptists in the Philippines will decide to join their acts together for missions. Congratulations. <laughs>